CBD industry is like the Wild West. It's a good industry. It's a good product. But there needs to be regulation. And the public's interest in CBD or cannabidol is growing. According to a new study, millions of people every month are searching the Internet to learn more about CBD, which can come in everything from oils, jelly beans, bath salts, skin lotion, and even pet products. Joining me now is the study's co-author, Dr. John Ayers, Vice Chief of Innovation in the Division of Infectious Disease and Global Public Health at the University of California, San Diego. Also here, Alex Berenson, author of the book, Tell Your Children the truth about marijuana, mental illness, and violence. Dr. Ayers, why isn't CBD as innocent a substance as all these marketers and all these manufacturers and a lot of little fancy people in Hollywood claim? Well, let me just say this. Interest isn't just growing, it's exploding and accelerating. And that's the real problem. People are engaging with a product that we have no certainty in the reliability of it or in the safety of it. Look at what happened recently with the vaping illnesses, right? What if there was tainted CBD out there? And also, CBD might be necessarily bad for the public because it causes people to turn away from proven treatments. Imagine if you're sick and hurting and you use CBD instead of going to a doctor where you could actually get better. Well, these are false claims. There is no peer-reviewed study that shows any medical benefit from these products. And this is where the Federal uh, Drug Administration has to take action. And Alex, you've been all over this. I think of all the people out there who've discussed with specificity the threat of these substances and derivatives, and you've written a lot about the marijuana industry, the big money push for pot legalization. The truth is with being withheld from the people in off often cases. And listen to this. The CDC saying now 1,604 confirmed and probable lung injuries, including 34 deaths after the vaping outbreak break this year. Uh, both the FDA and the CDC have not yet identified a brand, substance, or device. But in most cases, the illnesses have been tied to THC vaping products. Alex, this is a huge, huge issue. It's a huge problem. Uh, there's a couple really interesting facets to this. One is that the industry, the cannabis industry, tries to hide under CBD. So they, they encourage people who may not be paying close attention to this, oh, CBD is good for X, Y, and Z. That means cannabis is good for X, Y, and Z. Well, beyond the fact that there's no evidence that CBD is good for X, Y, or Z, CBD isn't really cannabis. Cannabis that, you know, that, that grandma is using CBD, supposedly, you know, she thinks it'll help her arthritis, but her grandson's upstairs getting high on THC. And the industry is hoping people who don't use either product or who only use CBD won't know enough to know the difference. That's one issue. As for vaping, I think it's fascinating. The industry has really gone out of its way to try to demonize illegal, quote unquote, illegal vapes and, and said, well, it doesn't look like the vapes that are sold through regulated stores in places like California are causing the problem. That's not true. People have gotten sick and died after using THC vapes that they've bought in regulated stores. And as you just said, neither the CDC nor the FDA has any idea whether it's an adulterant in the vape or whether it might even just be high potency, near pure THC itself that is lung damaging. And that's why both the FDA and the CDC have said to people, don't vape THC. And that's the message that should be being communicated by the public health authorities, by the states, by the media, but because everyone loves yeah. marijuana right now so much, it's getting a little bit lost. Oh, it's big money. Let's talk about if, if it weren't big money in marijuana, no one would be talking about this. We got people who used to be against legalization, like John Boehner, joined yes. an advisory board, got paid a huge amount of money. Basically, yes. they bought off his support for the weed industry. This is yes. stuff that is toxic for our children. It's driving psychosis, it's driving mental illness, in some cases, violent outbursts. And yet all these fancy, oh, no, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be fine. It's all going to be great. Dr. Ayers, I want to put up a picture of Ricky D'Ambrosio, 21 years of age, Northern California man, forced into a medically induced coma due to vaping. Thankfully, he's now back home, but many others are not. Uh, hospitals on ventilators, some with lung illnesses, Dr. Ayers, that may never fully heal. Uh, and parents are basically, they're doing YouTube videos begging people, please don't let your kids do this. Make sure you know what your kids are doing. Dr. Ayers. It's 
it's insane that we allowed this to get to the level it is. Humpty Dumpty's already broken, and you can't put them back together easily. We need to start regulating these products to the same standards we do other recreational products when it comes to marijuana. When it comes to products like CBD, we need to also regulate their claims. We can't just let this industry run rampant because it's undermining our health care and it's undermining public health. Uh, gentlemen, thank you so much. Very important conversation, both of you experts in it.